Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Stardew Valley. My name is Raj, and this is going to be our first of the long-form um, Let's Plays. The first proper Let's Play we're going to do. Um, this is probably going to take place over... Well, we're going to do the full two years of the gameplay. So, let's get started. File. I have played this game before. There's a lot of things I know that may not be um, completely new, but... You know, I've only gone... I don't think I've actually beaten this game, so... There are things at the end that will be probably a surprise for me. Name? Rollish, of course. I'm gonna go with Hickory Dunk. Favorite things? Nature. I assume we're going with thing as a general sense, not specifically. Um, I did actually record a version of this before, but my audio was terrible, so... Let me give this another shot. Um, you want to go with regular for this. Uh, if anybody wants to see the others and see me run through it, let me know, and I'll be happy to. Um, but for this first playthrough, we're going to just do the standard. Alright. Hey, Grandpa. Looks like Santa Claus. Only in green. And for my very special grandson. I want you to have the sealed envelope. That's a fancy envelope. Nice purple seal. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. He's twitching. Is he dying? That's sad. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Oh gosh, this is describing my life to a T. Okay, my job to a T. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. A nice sword. It's a cutlass. Scimitar. Now let Grandpa rest. Oh, I think he's dead. Oh dear, this looks horrible. Joja, join us. Th you don't look like you're thriving. There's a button for work or rest, really? Oh, these things are filthy. Look at it! When's the last time this has been cleaned? Oh, jeez. Terminated. Nice big logo for everybody. There's Woody all hyped up on something. The security cameras in each and every one so they can watch you at all times. Oh, gosh. Lifeless. Gray. The monitor is bigger than you are. I mean, seriously, only my head sticks up above this desk. I am tiny. Letter, please. This is soul sucking. And soul sucking just watching it. Here, Radish, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most of my life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belonged. I will close the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Hickory Dunk Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. That's one of those things you don't really appreciate until you get into the the situation that it's like, oh gosh, please. You know, if you gave the average the average kid who doesn't know what corporate life is like, be like, oh, here's a farm to go escape from. It's like, oh, great. Weeds. <laughs> you know, but, oh my goodness, you get stuck in that situation, it's like anything but here. Fresh air, country, sunshine? Sounds good to me. P.S. If you is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sure thing. Uh oh. I'm stuck in a letter. Trapped. Help. Oh, X. Well, that was easy. Ooh. This is pretty. Very, um, Appalachian y. Nice green covered mountains. Zoom the omnibus. Ba -da -da. I don't know what I'm doing. There's a download on my bus. Stardew Valley, half a mile. Excellent. I am almost there. Yeah, buddy. This seems nice, peaceful, good view of the ocean. Oh my! I broke it. 
Nope, I really did break it. Hello, you must be Rollish. Well, yes, I am. How do you know? I'm not the only person on this bus. I wasn't. Now it looks like I was. I'm Robert, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Sure. On we go to our new home. Oh my. This is a mess. I mean, of course it is. It's been abandoned for how long? This is Hickory Dunk Farm. Okay. <laughs> Precisely. I like I like my character. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. Well, yeah, I bet there is, because there's a lot of plant life, and that's you know nitrogen cycle and all that. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. A little dedication, you say? Looks like a lot of dedication to me. Anyway. And here we are, your new home. Looks nice. You're rustic. Got plenty of firewood. Looks like it's probably only one room, but that's okay. You even got a porch. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, the new farm. Hey, Mr. Lewis. Mayor Lewis. My grandfather says hi. Welcome. I'm Lewis, the mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Everyone? How big is this town? And hundreds of people talking about me. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Oh, it is a really small town then. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. That I am. It's a good house, very rustic. I agree, I like it. I like rustic. Rustic's good. It even has a chimney. It's adorable, actually. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Hey, hey, hey. My grandfather's house you're talking about. No jerk. Rude. <laughs> well, he said it, not me. Don't listen to her, Rollish. She's just trying to make you... Oh, crap. I clicked on accident. Humph. <laughs> that look. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired of a long journey. You should get some rest. Okay. Tomorrow, you have to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Townspeople would appreciate that. If I'm gonna introduce myself to the entire town, this, is kinda, this has gotta be tiny. Like, I live in a small town now, but... Like, I can go door to door, it'd take forever. No, oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. That's kind of odd that the mayor would be the one selling my stuff, but uh, okay, well, if you have nothing better to do at night, I guess. Well, good luck. Well, thank you. I will take that luck. <laughs> Where's there? I really have chickens, but you have a rooster. My progress has been saved. Excellent. <laughs> Ooh, present. Yay, portion of seeds. You received 15 part. Here's a little something to get you started. There you go. Oh, thank you. I'm sure that wasn't even cheap. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. My objective is to cultivate and harvest parsnip. Easy, since he just gave me parsnips. Introductions. Be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Oh, it's only 28 people in the town. This is a small town. 6 a.m. Um, rearrange my inventory. Point to put you there for the moment. Let's um, clear some space first. Is there kind of yeah? Here's a landmark. This the edge of this lake is gonna be my landmark. And conveniently, this doesn't seem to use energy, which is good. Seeds. Clearing out a space for me to farm. Yay, resources! I presume that these will be handy at some point. So these are a crafting menu? There's a crafting menu. Crafting! 50 wood for it. Okay, I need that because I have a pretty limited inventory here. So, cool. So, I do kind of want to make it all nice and pretty and stuff. Okay, maybe not pretty, but a frog. You know, organized and logical. Nope. Come on, hold on. 
lots of wood. Need 50 for a chest, though. Mm, that sucks. Alright then. I'm gonna move it down a couple, so I want this area to be like a walkway. I'm gonna make sure I'm at least one away from that fence. Yeah, this is good. I have 15. So we do 3 and 5. 2, 3, 4, and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright. Mm -hmm. I have my first little garden. Plant my parsnips. Alright, water. Parsnips. It's not where I wanted to water, but that works. Mm -hmm. I've heard this game is called, um. I was gonna make a point, I just forgot what it was. Harvest Moon for PC, and yeah. All, everything feels familiar. Even the watering and being inaccurate is pretty much the same. Oh. Mm -hmm. I know it, I know it. So, yeah. I know to collect stuff and use it for money. That's really your first kind of source of income in this game, because it's gonna take a while for the parsnips to grow. Okay, I'm gonna go visit you. Can't really visit you the other way, so we go all the way around. Hi! It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm probably the local doctor. Awesome. I hope I don't need your services very often. But I'm glad you're here. Question mark? Okay, there's that. There is nothing I wanted today. Say hi to the folks in here. Hey, Gus. Getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. No, it's the same thing you just said. Ah, uh, Marylou's told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hi, Marnie. Livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. I actually, I've, like, I've done, I've seen plays of this where people fully focused on the animals. And I kind of want to be a farmer, not a rancher, so... I'm gonna go that way. I'll get, I'll, like, I'll get the barn and the coop and stuff just because I need the, um, the products for processing and, you know, the community center stuff, but... Hey, it's Mr. Rollish, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. I should have given him a French accent, but I can't do a French accent. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. You'll also buy produce from you. I will also buy produce from you for a good price. I wonder if he buys it for a better price than a shipping box. I don't know. There's a saloon, Star Drop Saloon. Say hello to you. Oh hey, you're another guy, cool. Hi Alex. Here, invading people's homes to say hello. Hmm, it's irritating to meet all these new people. Name's George, by the way. Not buzz off. You're a character. Is he? No. Why, well, hello, to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Hi, Granny. She's nice, even not so much. He's cranky. Cranky old man. I do get that when I deliver pizzas. The old guys is always 50-50. They're either really, really nice and sweet, and they give you a big tip, and they're like, Grandpa kind of a character, or they're the cr crotchety old guys are like, Get off my lawn! You know, half a second after they've given you the money for paying for the food. Hey kid, name's Pam. Hi Pam! Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Well, I'm glad I did not just make a cooking spray joke then. I'm still alive. I get to live! Do, 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 graveyard, sewer. Oh, hi. Hey, Penny. Hi. Oh, did you want some? No, I'm just saying hello. I want nothing except hi. Oh, hi. Shiny. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Yes, I am. Huh, oh, okay. How do you get your hair shiny like that? Like, really? Hmm, if for these horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. You should totally buy me new clothes, then. I'm kinda broke, though, so... Oh, who are you? Hello, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Picked a good time to move here. This ring is... I like her, she's nice. The other one, not so much. Why there. Oh, a stranger! My name is Vincent. Mom says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. So, the guy that came into your house to say hello is okay. Barge right in, alright. Let's... Uh, I don't know about this. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. How'd you imagine me to be? 
What is that supposed to mean? It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. Everybody's gonna expect free eggs and stuff from me, aren't they? I know how this works. I saw Sam, I think his name was, go this way. Um, that was a while ago now, so he's probably long gone. Mm. Oh, hi Marty. Hi Harvey. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Well, thank you. I'm sorry, I wanted to get uh, potatoes. Oh, hello there. Hi, nice hair. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving on to that old farm. Yes, I am. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, I will leave part of it overgrown just for you. And who are you? You're new, I think. Hello, it must be Rollish. I'm the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hello. You have very colorful hair. My husband runs a journal store. Have you met her daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Um, yes, she's white. I mean... <laughs> Oh, hey, Leah. Leah, however you say your name. I need potatoes. Oh, crap. Um, um, sell this. And that. Ah. Uh, it's worth 12. I can get another one. Eh, it's not worth it. Actually, nobody here has a normal hair color. Oh, no. He's right. It. That's normal. It's the green and purple. It's not so much. Okay, so I got to say hi to a couple people I didn't really get to in my first attempt at this. Oh, that's Penny. Okay. Alright, let's go east of the river. And see who I can see. There's a little shop thing, but closed till summer. Interesting business plan, dude. What are you? Archaeology office. I'll say hi. Hi there. Oh, nice hat. And gloves. Rather spiffy. Well, hello there. Welcome to Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Oh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. How? Why? I worked in the museum. How do you run off with an entire collection? <laughs> I mean, and why did you let him? Or were you not here at that point? I mean, oh my goodness. I feel sorry for the poor sod that has to do the paperwork. Oh, that's you! I'm sorry. My my sympathies. But hey, I'm hoping to rem that, remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, minerals out there, would you let me know? Of course. Please don't run away with them like the other guy did. Mm. Okay, he says the same thing. Okay, say hello to you. Yeah, see jazz. Well, okay. You look like a blacksmith. Hi there. Er, hi, I'm Clint. Hi, Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Oh, awesome. I will probably need your services as soon as I can afford them. So, hi there. Flower. Hey, money. I wish I could just pick daffodils and make a living on it. That'd be great. Oh, I just got away from you. Nope, can't really talk to you. That way. Why would I have your logo on my walls? What is wrong with you? The seeds are more expensive here. There were, there were 50 at the other place. Alright, not buying this from stuff from you. I like the floor, no. Can't afford it, but I like it. Hi, Pam. There he is. Sam's on the clock. Better not get him in trouble. He looks like he's enjoying it, though. Like, he's sweeping, but he's got his head on, and he's rocking. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. I bet not. And you have the world's creepiest smile. Like... Eh. Welcome to Judge Mart. How are you doing today? Okay, your picture looks better, but it looks like you have fangs. Like... I'm sure you're a great guy and all. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but you creep me out a little. I don't believe we met. I'm Morse, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help you make your transition a joyous experience. I just quit your company. I worked in the office. No way in heck am I going to join you. No. No, 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 no. Uh oh, and then he does that. He was gulping, and then he goes back to the creepy smile. Run. Run far, run fast. Hi there. Oh. That's... Who are you? 
No, aren't you the one who just moved in? Hey, Maru. Hey, Maru. We've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to meet you, too. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Yeah, you have now 29 people in your town instead of 28. I'm like a whole 3% of the town. What's this way? Oh, yeah. That's community center, we're not there yet, so. I'm sure there might be forage, but I need to meet people. And I'm on a deadline, because. Stuff. Hi there. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Hi, Demetrius. You're cool. I'm studying local plants and animals from my home laboratory. You're a botanist biologist. That is highly helpful. Have you met my daughter? She's interested to meet you. Oh, well then. That's going places, and I didn't even do anything. Hi there. Hi. Great house. 10,000 gold, 450 pieces of wood. Don't have that. Farm buildings. Okay, this is all way expensive. This is like mid game stuff. What's the shop like? Stone, windows, dress. Oh, okay. I can buy stuff from you. Awesome. I need to officially meet you, so. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Yeah. You're not wrong. 22 or 28. Okay, I'm not even that badly. Um. I'm trying to think who I have yet to meet. Linus, Mr. Camper. I have horseradish that I can't pick up. Hey, buddy! Stranger, hello. Nice campsite you got here. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Hey, full time in the tent? Power, more power to you, dude. Um, I need to get rid of stuff so I can pick this up and I don't have any room. Oh well. Let's go down. Trying to think. I know there's a couple that I can't meet right off the bat. There's one I don't think I can meet until year two. Who am I missing that I can meet now? Fabio. I don't remember his actual name. But Fabio, the artist guy. Did I meet Sam? Sam! Hey, Sam, good to meet you. I did now. Which means I need to meet Shane still, probably. I'll see you around. Yep, you will. Penny and Marty, I met you too. Met the mayor, obviously. He counted before I did anything. Ah, there you are. Elliot, that was your name. Ah, oh, the new farmer we've all been expecting. And whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I am popular already. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Good to meet you too. I'm still gonna call you Fabio. I'm at the beach. See, I told you I had a nice beach. Nice dock. Ooh, fisher. Fisherman's hut. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, gone fishing. It seems appropriate for the fisherman. Five minutes. Alright. Ooh, there's a shiny thing I can't pick up. Oh, why did I come down here? I know I can't pick up stuff. This is Elliot's house. Fabio's house. Alright, so let's get back and... I didn't meet the blue-haired girl. What was her name? This is the graveyard. I'm not gonna meet her there. Come on. People shut up yet? Not yet. Yeah, they're here. Need a drink, I guess. Hey, Pam. Hey, kid, I'd buy you a drink if you could afford it. Well, it makes two of us, because I can't afford it either. Hi there, Relish. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Oh, you're really nice. Hi there. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Well, that's why I'm here. That's where I'm at now. And it's evening, so hi. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested. No, he's not. He's getting drunk, it looks like. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Because I want to say hi. You need a new jacket. Oh, it's a Jojo Mart jacket. He works for Jojo Mart. It's okay, dude. I understand. Things will get better eventually. After you quit. Like, seriously, help me out the farm or something. Well, I can't hire you because I'm broke. One day, I will hire you and get you out of that hell. One day. That day is not today, but eventually. 
I would love it if I could actually hire the guy to get him out of there. I mean, I'm sure Morris would be unhappy, but... You know, not everybody can win. Oh, Morris creeps me out, so... Meh. Yeah. Ten seeds. One, two, three, four, and five. I want that thing. Stick you in there. That was really my only sellable thing, so... One, two, three, four, and five. Get my potatoes in the ground. And water my potatoes. Alright, that's gonna be it. I have my little crops. And the other day, this is where I'm gonna leave it. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is gonna be a longer series, because we're gonna go through the two years, like I said. Um, so yeah, if you liked it, let me know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. Um, you know, we're going to be doing these, we're going to be aiming for doing a, a video a day, so there will be lots of content for you if you're enjoying it. Um, lots of room for me to prove of, obviously, but, you know, we're going to do it. We're going to see how this goes. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and I will catch you, ladies and gentlemen, later.